Hello, Ospreys. Welcome to International Update on Inside Swoop and 90. I'm Red Perringer, and here's what's going on in the world. On Monday, Tropical Storm Felipe made landfall on Bermuda, releasing heavy rains and flash floods. Felipe is expected to move into the North Atlantic, possibly strengthening into a hurricane, according to forecasters. The twin island nation of Antigua and Barbuda expected the storm to cause problems and had closed schools on Tuesday in preparation. Originally, the storm was predicted to hit Puerto Rico as a depression. However, the change in direction has the Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology describing Felipe as not, quote, well-behaved. After positive responses from a new pilot program teaching English in elementary schools, Algeria is expanding it to a wider scope. The linguistic shift shows signs of how the change in influence in France has in its former African colonies. Students in the third and fourth grades will have two 45-minute English classes per week. The country is providing new teacher training programs at universities to help with the current program and adapt to future expected changes. The Asian Games finished their first of week of two in China. The Games have 12,500 participants from 45 nations and territories, with events such as dragon boat racing and mind sports such as chess. The Games also featured an unusual event in the League of Legends competition. South Korea took home the gold in the event, which also granted the team exemption from military service in the South Korean Army. The opening ceremony was held at the Olympic Sports Center Stadium in Hangzhou, with its 80,000 seats packed. Nine of the sports at the Asian Games allow for qualification spots for the Olympics. That's it for this international update on Inside Super 90. I'm Rhett Berenger, and thanks for watching.